Hey guys, good morning. So um, I apologize in advance. I sound super congested. It's this weather, it's the dry air. There is absolutely no humidity in the air. So like my sinuses are on a rampage and they hate life right now, which is making me a little bit miserable. Um, but anyway, I'm hiding out in my guest room because Paisley is downstairs receiving her ABA therapy right now. Um, normally I would go out and um, just go to the gym with Avery and run errands or go to the store, go out to eat, do whatever I need to do. Um, but I like to leave the house just because um, Paisley does a lot better when I'm not there because when I am present, she seems to not want to do um, the things that she needs to focus on and her focus isn't there it's on me and where I am and then sometimes she'll act shy or she'll just kind of have a little attitude that you know she doesn't want to do anything because mom's there so um, before we even began the therapy journey I was really nervous at having somebody come into my house because it's like almost an invasion of your personal space you have to give up your your time and your space and you have to share that with somebody else but let alone somebody you have never met and not known but um, of course we do meet them ahead of time and it worked out great we got blessed with somebody so amazing Paisley fell in love with her at the very first day and you know she gave her hugs and kisses and she's not one to show affection to anyone like even friends that we've had for a very long time Paisley will still not even hug and kiss so this has been major but she absolutely adores her therapist um, so I honestly felt confident from the first week leaving um, her with Paisley alone. Um, now, of course, we do have um, cameras, but I feel like it's an invasion of personal space. It's an invasion of privacy when you have cameras. I don't know. It can go either way. Um, like, they're a good thing, but at the same time, you have to be really careful with it because um, it's just an invasion, I feel like, um, because I've been there and I just really don't like being watched like you know if you don't trust me in your home I don't want to be there and be watched um, so kind of I don't know I look at it like that but it is a good thing but anyway not to get on a tangent about security cameras in your home um, but the point is I felt very confident and completely trusting of her therapist to be home with Paisley and they have such an amazing relationship she smiles she's playful she she just loves her so much so um yeah, so this has been such a blessing because honestly, it's almost like a babysitter for Paisley. So I can have one child. So I get to have just alone time with Avery to do whatever it is that I need to do. Um, I can take her to, let's say, like the little gym or like a music class or a dance class or a swimming class. Um, so it was really nice to have that one-on-one -on -one time with Avery. Um, and then Paisley gets to have, you know, some time away from me and be in a learning environment, a structured learning environment with where she's one-on-one -on -one with her therapist. Um, but it's nice, like days like today, I wanted to stay home just because Avery was up in the middle of the night. She wasn't feeling well. She didn't go to bed. So she never really went to bed last night. She did. She went down for a nap um, after we got back from our appointment, and then she just slept the entire night. So she woke up at like 3, and um, because I didn't want to wake her up because she wasn't feeling well. Um, so she needed to be fed and a diaper change, and I let her play for like an hour or so. I sat up to like 5 o'clock pretty much, and I put her back down, and I didn't want to go back to sleep, so... I figured we'd stay home from the gym this morning and I'd get things done upstairs, but it's been really nice because I can get laundry done, I get playtime with Avery, I put her down for a nap, I got to do my makeup, I got to just relax and lay back and watch some TV, so it's been really nice. Um, but I will kind of take you guys, um, not today, but I will one day take you guys through like a typical day. Um, what our life is like when Paisley is in ABA therapy and um, what Avery and I do. And I did want to mention, so today is Thursday, so Paisley began her therapy today at 8.30 in the morning and we're just going to go until noon because then on Thursday she also has speech therapy and so her speech therapy is from usually about 45 minutes. So she's going to have a very busy morning and usually she's exhausted by the time the afternoon rolls around and we have a play date at my friend's house right after she has speech so um it's gonna be interesting to see how she does today hopefully she's just has a good attitude because she woke up so incredibly 
just bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and in such a good mood and was smiley and cheerful and ready to start the day. So hopefully we can just carry that throughout the day today. Okay, so I just heard Paisley and her therapist go outside. They do um, some outdoor activities just to kind of um, get her used to following certain behaviors when you go outside. So just making sure she can, you know, safely go outside and you know, follow simple instructions like let's hold hands and we don't run out in the street, you don't walk away from, you know, who you're with and, um, but she loves being outside so I'm going to go downstairs and prepare her some lunch. Um, normally I would give her, like on any other day, she would just have you know, whatever we have for lunch, like turkey dogs or chicken nuggets. But today, um, she's only gonna have a 30 minute break until she has speech therapy. So it's um, 11.53 right now, and she has speech at 12.30. So they're gonna come back from outside um, at 12, and then her therapist leaves. And then she's gonna have a 30 minute time to just kind of chill out. And her therapy is a lot of playtime. It's like structured play, but it's a lot of fun playtime. So it's not like she's sitting down and she has to, you know, do certain things. She has to do certain things, but she's not just sitting in a chair like, you know, a school student or something like that. Um, she does get a lot of play indoors. So um, I'm gonna give her a 30 minute break and just turn on like, um, baby first TV and I love baby first TV because it's not just like mindless cartoons it's actually a learning program for infants and toddlers and I like to leave the TV on that channel any chance I get because um, it teaches them colors shapes counting numbers um, socialization and it just there's a wide variety of lessons to be taught with baby first TV if you don't know what I'm talking about it's amazing if you have cable direct tv dish there is um baby first tv so just check your local provider um it's amazing um but anyway like sometimes people say well my kid doesn't watch tv but you know like once a week my daughter is autistic so that's how they learn they learn through pictures and she learns through watching things and seeing how things are done so when she watches baby signing time not only is she learning to sign but she's learning you know vocabulary and you know so much like colors shapes you know all the things that you wouldn't really think of learning um but then also even watching her favorite shows like sophia the first she learns song and dance and music because I just watch her and she comes alive when she watches Sophia the first she sings along and she does um, gestures that they do so she actually learns when she watches she learns words vocabulary she even learns facial expressions and how people treat each other um, so the things that you really don't think of that when kids are watching TV they do learn so we always want to make sure it's something um, helpful and good that they're watching and not bad so everything she watches is good um, but anyway I'm gonna let her watch her um, you know favorite program probably not Sophia because she's gonna have a fit if we try to turn that off so we'll just let her watch baby first TV I'm gonna make her some lunch I'm gonna give her waffles today for lunch because she seems to really love breakfast food lately um, so this morning she had some French toast bites and some strawberries um so i'm gonna let her have some waffles and maybe some grapes for lunch and then she'll get to have her speech therapy and then um we're gonna head to our friend's house for a play date um and she's worked so hard today and she's had such a good day i'll probably stop and get her pizza on the way home and let her have a pizza for a lunch for a later lunch and for dinner um but i hear avery avery just woke up from a nap so i'm gonna go get her up and get her changed and get her lunch together and um, we're just gonna continue on with the day. It is 12 o'clock on the dot um, and I am making some more coffee and actually I see Paisley outside swinging. There she is. I'm not gonna um, get a clear view just because I don't want to invade the privacy of her therapist. Um, so they're outside swinging. I think they went for a walk and they're outside swinging so I'm just gonna just capture this little bit from this angle just to show Paisley. Um, so she's outside having a jolly good time and I'm gonna prepare lunch. I think for lunch I'm gonna have a slice of Ezekiel toast and um, Ezekiel bread is really good. It is flourless 
bread, and this is based on the Bible verse, Ezekiel 4.9, as described in the Holy Scripture verse. Take also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet and spelt, and put them in one vessel and make bread of it. So they did just that. But this is so good if you're trying to live a healthy lifestyle and um, gluten-free and um, just trying to cut some weight. Um, so I love this. This Since it's flourless bread, it has to be refrigerated. Um, but I think I'm going to have that with um, some almond butter and then maybe some egg whites and my coffee. I think I ran out of my sugar-free, um, all of my sugar-free stuff. So I'm going to have, have this Italian sweet cream, which is not going to be amazing for <laughs> my diet but that's okay we're just gonna do what we have to do i won't even put any sugar in it because i won't even need any oh and i also wanted to show you guys this i got this from sprouts organic farmers market the other day it's green juice and it's made there and this is like the green power punch and it has cucumber kale parsley spinach apple and celery and it's got all of your veggies for really healthy vitamins i had a glass of this this morning and it was so tasty <laughs> Paisley, did you have a good day? Did you have a good therapy day? Yes. She's so excited. Time. She loves saying time now. She points to her wrist like she has a watch and likes to say time. Like she's going somewhere. Like she's got somewhere to be. All right. I'll turn on your show for you. Okay, Paisley. Back up a little bit. That's the weather channel or the news. That's what the weather looks like. All right. Ooh, it's one of her favorite shows, The Notekins. They're these little notes, and it's like a musical program. All right, let's get your lunch going so I can go get Avery up from her nap. So Paisley's having waffles and strawberries for lunch with her Sophia the First plate and Sophia the First utensils because she just loves Sophia so much. And then I also made Avery waffles and she'll probably eat more strawberries. She had a big breakfast this morning. She had oatmeal and strawberries. And then we had some banana puffs and then she had an eight ounce bottle and had a good nap and now She's having a waffle as well. I'm just letting her play a little bit since she just woke up. But she's always, always hungry. She is our little eater, our snacker. <laughs> as long as you have food, the world is all right. So she's just going to eat that. I let her usually just kind of have a piece of it. She usually just, she's really good about just biting it rather than, you know, shoveling a whole huge piece of food in her mouth. And that's why you see her with a piece of a waffle. Um, because it also feels good on her gums, too. Um, she's still teething. She has seven teeth now, but it feels so good to her. She really likes to bite it. And then sometimes I'll just break it up in little pieces if she's wanting to do that. But it seems like she's just going to bite and throw, bite and throw. Is that good? Those waffles are good. I love those cinnamon toast Eggo waffles. And sometimes we eat the blueberry waffles. But normally we have the cinnamon toast echo because that's what Paisley likes. But I also do get the um, Earth's Best Organic mini blueberry waffles. <laughs> what are you doing, silly girl? There's like waffles all over the place. Typical. How are your waffles, Paisley? Are they good? Yummy. All right, we survived our morning routine with Paisley's therapies. She did really, really well today. She was just so exhausted, honestly, by the time it was time for speech therapy, which she normally is. Um, so she did okay. Um, it wasn't her most favorite thing to have to sit down. And um, it, it's really like a learning environment, but it, it, a lot of play is incorporated with her therapy. So it's not just like sitting in a chair and okay do this I mean but some of it is but anyway she's pretty tired she's been going since I think she woke up at like 7 30 today maybe 7 40 so in her ABA started at 8 30 so it's now 2 15 so she's had a pretty busy day we're on our way to my friend's house 
Um, it lives just about 10 minutes down the road for a play date. We had already promised that we were coming and we canceled last week because Paisley was just tired and I was tired, Avery was tired, everybody was tired, so I didn't want to cancel again. I figured we could just let the kids play for just a short while and then we'll head back home because I um, actually just switched out the laundry. So while Paisley was doing therapy, I got a couple loads of laundry done, washed the kids' sheets so that they put fresh linens on their cribs or, well, Paisley's toddler bed and Avery's crib and um, just tried to straighten up the house upstairs, just folding all of the mounds of laundry that I've got. So, hashtag mom life. Oh my gosh, people are going super duper slow in front of me. Why does that always happen? I don't have road rage or anything, but I... I don't know, I drive the speed limit maybe just a few over, but I'm a firm believer that the left lane is for passing or those who are going faster. So if you cannot keep up or don't care to drive as fast, it is common courtesy and it is the law to move over and drive in the right lane. I wish I could enforce that, but I have learned, <clears throat> I quickly learned when I first moved here to the Fayetteville, Fort Bragg area, that it is in fact a small town. I come from a large city. I come from Washington, D.C. So if you have anything to say to the car in front of you or beside you or behind you and you have any certain hand gestures that you may just throw out there, you probably won't see those people again. But here in Fayetteville, I quickly learned you will see those people again. It is a small town. It's a military town. So you never know who is in the car in front of you, behind you, beside you. So I have learned just to... I'm frustrated with their driving just to just mm, smile because it could be a commander commander's wife your husband's boss not that it's ever happened to me but I'm just saying or it could be your pastor or somebody at your church or somebody in your Bible study so um, I would just my advice <laughs> living here is just let go of the um, like I don't have road rage like I said but just letting go of the um, impatient driving. We'll go with that. It's Avery sleeping. It is 6.10. I'm just having a little snack. This is an iced um, slice of iced lemon pound cake that I got the other day at the Sprouts Organic Farm Farmer's Market store. It's a new store that just opened. And it's kind of like a mix between Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. So it's organic good for you and a water um the kids are sleeping we just got home about an hour ago from a play date so um they're pretty tired so after eating that slice of the lemon iced lemon pound cake even though it's organic i feel sick because i've been eating pretty clean and i don't really eat a ton of sugar at all but I think that was just even even that little sliver was just too much sugar I don't feel good well I wish I hadn't eaten it but it was good it definitely wasn't as rich and as sweet as the one that's made at Starbucks um, it's got a little bit a little bit more healthier ingredients um, but it still has a little bit of sugar um, because of that icing so oh my You guys, I legit feel like I'm going to just throw up at any minute. Oh my god, I'm never eating. I don't know why I feel so sick. It's the problems when you eat healthy. And then you try to have a little bit of fun. And look what happens. Oh my god. Oh, it's alright. Oh. Okay. okay, okay, okay. I just changed Avery's diaper and she had a horrible rash. So I think she's cutting another tooth because the rash is usually the telltale sign and the fact that her nose has been runny and um, I thought it was just the weather, but um, I'm... I'm thinking she's really teething, so. 
Oh, but I'm feeling a little bit better. I took a short nap. It's 725 and Paisley's still sleeping, which I should probably wake her up. So she can have dinner and take a bath. Everybody can take a bath. And... Yeah, she's definitely teething. Does that feel good on your gum? She's been eating all day long, like literally just eating. I think she just wants something that just feels good. Oh, feels good on her gums. We're snuggling. <coughs> Are you feeling okay? Are your gums hurting? We're just snuggling. I'm just gonna let her just lay here for as long as we possibly can. Do you want some dinner? You're not really hungry. Oh. Poor baby. Might give her a little bit of dinner and some Tylenol. Yeah. Hi, I love you. It's okay. <laughs> Are you feeling better? <laughs> All right, we need to eat some dinner and take a bath. I need some soup because I'm just, I don't know if it's a combination of like the fatigue. Sorry, I look crazy. <laughs> The couch is my friend right now. Um, it's been a really long day, you guys. I've been up since 3.30, mind you, because Avery woke up at 3.30, and I just never went back to bed when she went back to bed um, because I had my alarm set for 6 anyway, and I put her down at, back down at 5, so I just decided to stay up. I think it might just be a combination of that, the congestion, and, like, the nausea... I just need some soup, and I'm not going to work out tonight. I'm going to have to skip my evening workout and just go to bed. Okay, I'll be right back. I am... Um... Oh, it's dark. Oh, I can't go anywhere without keys. Just kidding. I am about to go to Little Caesars to pick up a pizza for Miss Paisley. Okay, so it is, um, what time is it? <laughs> it's 8.27 and I just woke Paisley up. <sighs> like honestly, she does not nap this late. Oh my God, Peppa Pig. <laughs> um, normally she just does not nap this late. We just happened to take a late nap. We just had such a busy schedule today. Thursdays honestly are probably, I should just not have any play dates on Thursdays just because it's such a busy day. She's got ABA therapy. And then after that, she's got speech therapy. And she's so tired by the time all said and done. I think play dates on Thursdays are just going to be no good. So I'm going to have to say no um, from now on to that. We're just going to have to figure out another day. Um, other days for play dates. Um, but she didn't. She fell asleep on the way home. I didn't even put her down. I was just going to let her stay up and then go to bed early. And she fell asleep when we got home. It was like like five when we got home. Um, but anyway, she's dragging. She does not want to get out of bed. Actually, she's still in bed. Morgan's here with her and Avery. Um, she just does not want to get out of bed. But I think when I bribe her with pizza. But um, honestly, we go to Little Caesars often, at least twice a week because... Um, autistic children are very particular and they like the same thing like she will starve herself she will not eat um I guess like she's a good eater for an autistic child because I know of some autistic children that only eat one thing like breakfast lunch dinner snack one thing um so like breakfast usually is the french toast or the waffles and she'll have she'll eat bananas She'll eat strawberries sometimes. She always eats green grapes. Like, no matter when you give it to her, she loves grapes. Um, cantaloupe, for sure. Yogurt. So, usually, the morning is, like, the best meal of the day. She'll have, like, like, today she had French toast and yogurt and a couple strawberries. Um, so, that was a good meal. Lunch. She normally eats the Purdue whole grain chicken nuggets or, like, turkey hot dogs. But, lately, she's reverted back to not liking them and not wanting them. And before, like, she goes through this every couple months, like, she'll, you know, eat that stuff along with pizza and bagel bites. And, you know, we can usually give her a variety of things. But now, lately, she's only been eating pizza. So, like, even on the holidays, like, Paisley had pizza. I mean, it is what it is. 
I mean, of course I let her try new foods. I try to, and that's something that, um, therapy is also going to help her with is introducing foods and helping her because more, it's more of a sensory thing because, um, autistic children have sensory sensitivities and she just doesn't like the way something may feel or just the texture of it or the smell of it. Cause she always smells food before, you know, she eats it. So, um, yeah. So I'm feeling better. The nausea has subsided. And, um, after I got like a quick 20 minute nap, I'm so tired though. I just, I want to go to bed. Um, I'm sad. I'm missing my workout. Although I may still work out just depending on how everything goes. Like I said, it's eight 30 and I'm just now going to get her a pizza. So, and they still have to have baths and, um, go to bed so we'll see how it goes okay so it's been raining on and off all afternoon so clearly it rained some more um luckily we're just right outside of my neighborhood is this sweet little shopping center that is so convenient to me where we have a few options like a gas station um a Post Office, Wendy's, Bojangles, Dunkin' Donuts, and Baskin Robbins, and coffee, and there's a restaurant down the way that's um, the Wing House, and we've got some dental offices, and a nail place, and our most frequented eatery is Little Caesars, so... Oh my god, back home and Paisley still has not gotten up and I, she's under the covers and I asked her if she wanted pizza and she like poked her head out. Paisley, you want to get up and get some pizza? Do you want pizza? I got you pizza. Paisley, sleepy head. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah, definitely no more play dates on Thursdays. Paisley, do you want pizza? You just want to sleep? All right, well, I'm going to go eat some pizza. Okay, bye. Oh my gosh, she loves sleep. She is definitely the child that does not like to be messed with or woken up. She likes to wake up on her own. Yeah, come on, let's go downstairs and get pizza. Avery, on the other hand, she's the lightest sleeper ever. And she'll pop up if she hears a noise, so um, she definitely doesn't mind being woken up. She's alive. <laughs> it's going to be a long night. I feel like it already. It's 8.50. This is so out of character. My kids never sleep that late. It, everybody just doesn't feel well right now, and it's just been a very busy day. And all is right in the world again. Her favorite meal, pizza. The first time she ever had pizza was at her first birthday party at the Children's Museum in downtown Fayetteville, and that was the first taste of pizza she ever had, and it was Little Caesars, and well, here we are almost two years later, just about two years later, and it's still her favorite food, and I'm going to have a slice too. And Avery is having an Earth's Best Organic squash and sweet peas pouch since she's not feeling well. She's not really hungry. Well, she's been eating all day, but... <laughs> Okay. Okay. For bath time. Um, so I had Avery's Wobbenubs kind of drying up here. See these two? And I had the elephant. I forgot they were all just drying up here from the wash earlier. And she saw it and she grabbed it. <laughs> she loves her pacifiers. She's just addicted. It's like she needs them all. It's so funny. Hello there, little one. Hello. Okay, we'll use some birds to feed today. Although, Aquaphor might help with the diaper rash. And then, I'm going to brush her teeth. The new little toothbrush she got from Santa in her stocking. Can you brush your teeth? Since you don't want me to do it. Yeah. By the way, this is, um, I don't remember the name of it. It looks like a little strawberry patch. It's like a hemoglobin, something like that. But that appeared on her um, chest right around four weeks old. And um, 
it was very prominent then. It just looked like a collection of blood vessels just rose to the surface of her skin. Um, but it was very common. It's very common in a lot of newborns and um, it usually goes away. Um, I have a friend whose daughter had the same thing and hers went away right around like age 18 months. So, um, yeah, so that'll go away soon. Um, I don't have any bubble bath in here, so I'm trying to just keep the camera just at chest level so I don't expose her. Look at your hair. I gotta brush your hair. And it's Paisley's turn for a bath. Yeah, look at this, two passies. She is, she loves her pacifiers. Yeah. I just finished cleaning up the kitchen. I just finished washing bottles. My least favorite chore. Times like this makes me miss breastfeeding. Um, and yeah, just wash some dishes. And I put Avery to bed because she was just done. She was tired. Um, she's teething. She's got diaper rash. She's um, just really not feeling well, I could tell, and, um, so yeah, I gave her some Tylenol and put her to bed, and now, Paisley, are you ready for bed? It is late, you guys, it's 9.52, and this is not normal, this is not typical for me to keep Paisley up this late, it's just, it was a long day, you know, Thursdays are a long day, I feel like, for her because she has her ABA therapy and then she has speech therapy. Um, I don't know. I just, I want her to do the things that, you know, other kids get to do, like play dates on a, I don't want to have to say no, but, you know, I'm going to have to say no on certain days and just, you know, schedule out play dates for earlier in the week. You know, you, typically we don't do play dates on the weekend. We just, that's for family time and just kind of downtime at home, but, um, I'm going to have to start saying no to play dates on the um, Thursdays because it's just clearly it was too long of a day for her. She didn't fall asleep till 5 and then she didn't get out till like 8.30. So here we are going on 10 o'clock and she's supposed to like already have had a bath and be in bed. But I don't know. I feel like now I just, I don't know. It sucks because either I'm going to wake her up in the morning and give her a bath or I give her a bath now. And I mean... I can only hope she wakes up in a good mood because sometimes she just throws a fit and you know like her mood can change like that and so like even right now I mean she can just have a meltdown about absolutely nothing um but sometimes I keep her up I don't know I just it just we got to take it just one day at a time because an autistic brain um I don't know there's just so much going on in their brain sometimes she wakes up in the middle of the night and it's playtime for her. Um, and something in her brain just switches and it's like, okay, let's get up. And so some, a lot of nights I'll hear her running around at like 3 a.m. And I'll have to go in there and try to put her back to bed. And sometimes we come down here and it might be like two or three hours before she even falls back asleep. So um, I once read an article and it said that a special needs parent gets a lot less sleep than a typical parent and it's so true <laughs> like I have my almost three-year-old who's very busy and um you know she definitely keeps me busy I wouldn't trade it for the world I'm not complaining at all like I mean God gave me these specific children because he knew I wanted them and I have a lot of love and patience to give my children and I mean, this is what I wanted, my, I wished for my entire life since I was a little girl playing with dolls. I always played house, so, um, you know, I'm living my dream right now, so I'm in no way complaining. Um, it's just, it's hard sometimes, you know, being a special needs parent because you don't get to do things like a typical parent gets to do. You know, you have to, there's a lot of extras and a lot of patience involved and like just, even with therapies, I welcome the weekend because, okay, that means I can sleep in or I can just be. I don't have to, like, get up at 530 and, you know, prep everything and get everybody prep to get everybody up and, you know, ready for therapies. And um, so it's, it's a lot. It really is a lot. It's a lot of stress some days, and some days it's just um, taxing on you physically, emotionally. It just It's draining. 
Um, and then I have my 12 month old who, you know, still needs love and attention and, um, everybody needs a piece of me. So, um, so it's hard to even find time to take care of myself, but, um, that's what I try to do and try to go to the gym while Paisley's in therapy. But, um, some days it's just, some days it's, some days it's a struggle. I'm not going to lie. Some days I'm like on the verge of tears or I'm just melting down in tears. Other days I'm frustrated and I just scream, um, you know, like any other parent. Like, you know, I just kind of go hide and just like let out a scream. You know, you just need to get that frustration out. So you have to go where your kids can't see you or hear you and just kind of play like everything is okay. Um, but yeah, the days are long because it's 10 o'clock and I'm in no way, like my day is not done. I still have to get Paisley ready for bed and like I've got a whole bunch of laundry that just it has to get folded because if laundry piles up then I mean that's the end of that it's just like a tidal wave and it just yeah so but we're gonna do this we got this right so yeah she said okay so I decided we wouldn't give her a bath tonight she's not dirty or anything so we just brushed teeth, washed hands, washed face, and put pajamas on and an overnight diaper. And we'll just get up in the morning and take a bath before therapy tomorrow. Tomorrow's Friday. Yay. Say yay for Friday. Are you excited that tomorrow's Friday, Paisley, and the weekend will be here? I'll take that as a yes. Because I'm excited too. Oh, man. I just put Paisley to bed and this is what awaits me. So I guess I'm gonna get started and fold these because if I just leave them and wait for tomorrow, it's just gonna grow into an even bigger pile. So this is Paisley's, Avery's, and some of my clothes, but it's mainly the kids' clothes. I feel like it looks a lot worse than it really is. All right guys, well, it is beyond time for me to call it a night. I'm so exhausted. It has been the longest day. It's been a very busy day, but um, tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow's Friday, thank God, because I'm ready for the weekend. Um, but thanks for watching this, and we will see you in the next one. Good night.